Was that cool? Was that groovy? Or was that a real bummer? Good morning! It's a little overcast today, but hi, welcome to So Lovely with Grace. If you're new here, I'm Grace. If you're returning, welcome back. Yeah, it's a little dark out today, but I'm still happy to be here. It's Friday and we got an exciting giveaway today. Yeah, this giveaway is for my one year anniversary on YouTube. I announced the giveaway on Tuesday, December 6th. So, oh, it looks like the sun's peeking out now. Wonderful. So it's going to be a great video. Let me have one more sip and I'll tell you about the giveaway. Oh, I love this mug. Since I have a 60s vintage inspired video, I thought I'd get the Simplicity 60s mug out with all these girls. I've shown this on a previous video, but I always like to show it every time I drink from it. And it's just a wonderful mug. And today, also, I'm going to talk about the dress I'm wearing, of course. It's a 60s vintage pattern. Simplicity 9845. I made the one that, view three, the one that she's wearing, and we're going to get into that. And what I was thinking is, I said, well, do I do the announcement first of the two winners, or do I talk about the dress? And of course, you clicked on this to see the winners. So I'm going to start with that. Hopefully, you'll stick around and watch, you know, me model this dress and talk about the features and what I love about it and uh, we'll have fun with that. So what I want to show you is I have this vintage box, the Simplicity Vintage Box that I got at Joann's a couple of years ago. It contains all the names of the entrants for the giveaway. Got all the names in there and I'm going to go to the cutting table, shake it up and pick two names here at the cutting table are the prizes that are going to go to the two names that I draw. And I want to show you a close-up of the prizes. We have this beautiful sewing room mug. And I showed this on the first anniversary video. And just want to show you that. Inside I threw in some single fold bias tape. These Microtex sharp needles that anybody can use all the time. And a couple of threads. I put a black and a white. I always get black and white. So that's that. I also put in this facial roller. No, you're not going to roll your face. This is for seams. I use this. I got this at Dollar Tree and it's great for pressing seams open. If you press with the iron or you just want to roll out seams, it's not just for quilting. Um, so that's a great thing to have. And of course, a new look pattern. Uh, I picked this pattern because I don't know the winner if they're advanced or they're a beginner. And what I intend to do is do a sew along for this pattern. I want to do this long view A with the slit up the side, kind of like a beach look. It has, if you see the line drawings here, it has a racer back and it has a full back, regular back, which is the one I'm going to do. And, uh, it's a new look pattern. I love new look and I like it because it has all the sizes. goes from, if you can see that, size 10 to 22. And since this is a knit, it gets even bigger. So I think it's pretty size inclusive and simple. And I think hopefully the winner will be happy with that. So let's get to the drawing. I got a lot of comments and 86 participants on this giveaway. And the comments were wonderful. They were full of so much love. And I didn't realize what an impact I had on the sewing community. But I'm enjoying it. I love uh, communicating with you. And thank you so much for the comments. Thank you for all who entered. 86 names are in this box. This beautiful box. And here we go. Time for the winners. Okay. So I'm not going to look. There's the names. They're all mixed in there. I just hope you guys see this. And I'm going to pick one now. The first name. 
is Stephanie Mendez, five, two, eight, seven. Stephanie Mendez, five, two, eight, seven. Stephanie, congratulations. You're a winner today for this drawing. And now I'm gonna pick the second name. Let's put the cover back on. Shake it up again. And see who that is. Here we go. Taking the lid off. I'm trying to do this without looking here. Mix it all up. You guys can see. I'm mixing them up. And I'm going to pick another one. Here we go. Do I have one? Cover that back up. And the next winner is going to be Shanna! Walking, strip sh walking Scripture with Shanna. Congratulations, Shanna! Wow! That's wonderful. We have Stephanie and Shanna winning today. Thank you so much for entering and congratulations! What I would like you both to do is send me an email to so lovely with grace at gmail.com with your contact information. Let me know where you would like me to ship your prizes. I I'm so happy and so excited. And for all who entered, I want to do more giveaways. Um, what I would like to do is I'm almost to 1,700 subscribers. And I want to, you know, of course, go do another giveaway at when I reach 2,000. And I think that would be exciting. Uh, so I would think in 2024, maybe we'll see how it goes. But my goal would be, Every time I hit a thousand subscribers, another milestone, another thousand, that I do a giveaway. Different things too. I have a lot in mind. So congratulations to Shanna, Walking Scripture with Shanna, and Stephanie Mendez, 5287. I'm so excited for you both, and congratulations again. Congratulations to the winners and to all of you who have participated. I greatly appreciate it. And thank you for the wonderful comments. I wanted to talk about a few comments, because, and I took some notes here, because um, there was a few that I needed to address. One of them was, there is a scam out there, Telegram, I suppose. One of my uh, subscribers told me that Telegram, some email they got, claiming to be me, uh, just ignore it. It's not me. I don't use Telegram for, you know, my YouTube channel or anything. So if you see something from Telegram that says from So Lovely With Grace or Grace, it's not me. Um, the other thing, I got a lot of requests for 2024. I wanted to talk about that because I did ask what you would like. And there was a lot more so along. So I think I'll be doing that. I just didn't know how to gauge it. E easy so longs, um, more advanced so longs. But I'm going to try and do something capable and short that most people could handle. And, you know, not that I'm any advanced sewers whatsoever, but something that could be enjoyable. And I'm going to look into some patterns that are still available that you can get because I don't want to do a so long on a pattern that doesn't, you know, you have to order it extra, costs a lot more, and also a so long that's not already out there. Um, so I'm going to look into that. I also got a lot of requests for in the hoop embroidery projects. I love embroidery, so I would enjoy doing that, and that's something I'm going to do. I had requests for picking a pattern, matching a fabric to a pattern, and going through the whole process of that before um, actually sewing the garment. And I hope to do that also. And let's see, what else did I have here? I had one uh, note, this was previous to my giveaway, that I wanted to mention. Uh, when you get a pattern, take a peek inside and be sure the instructions are in there. Sometimes they're missing. I had a subscriber, Dory, she mentioned that she bought a pattern and the instructions weren't in there. So sometimes, you know, somebody could have pulled them out to look at them and read them 
innocently forgetting to put them back in the pattern. So double check that. But if you see a pattern that doesn't have instructions, of course you won't purchase it. Or if you get home and realize that, you can return it at Joann's. And also you can get the instructions from Simplicity on their website. You can go to customer help and you can go in and put in the pattern number and you can write missing instructions, please send and they'll send them to you. I had partial instructions. I had a page missing in a Vogue pattern and I asked for that page and they sent it to me. So there are ways to get around that and uh, you can be okay with that. So I just wanted to give you some, you know, updates on what kind of comments I got. I got a lot of people that are really happy and excited to tune in and I'm having a great time. So I just want to say thank you for all the wonderful comments. And now I'm going to talk about this pattern, Simplicity 9845, the one I'm wearing, this one with the raglan sleeves and the raised collar and the zipper in the back. It called for a regular zipper, but I put in an invisible zipper. So. I want to talk to you about that. What I want to do is show you the detail of the dress on the dress form and then I'll model it for you. I want to show you the detail on this dress, the neckline, how it sits up as it should, and in the instructions there's no mention of interfacing. So Talisha from Creativity by T, thank you so much for that tip because it made a world of difference with this collar. Then you can see there's a dart here on each shoulder, the raglan sleeves, and I have fisheye darts. It just the dress form's not perfect fitting. It fits me better than the dress form. And then the back with the invisible zipper, and I put that jazzy belt there just for that 60s vintage vibe. And uh, so that's the dress. I love this puckered knit. It's just so much fun. The texture, it's just unbelievable. I can't believe I found it and I actually found a pattern that goes with it. So that's a close up of the dress. One of the unique design features of this dress that I absolutely love is this raised neckline. Never had a dress like this. And if it wasn't for Talisha from Creativity by T, I don't think it would have came out as good as it did. The instructions do not ask you to interface it. So I imagine this thing drooping and flipping and flopping and I decided to interface it as Talisha suggested. She did a video, she made this dress. She made it in a green Christmas fabric and she accessorized it with a hat and gloves and she looked really vintage. So what I wanna do for you is model the dress for you. The design of this dress is vintage 60s, but I accessorized it with this chain belt and these white tennis shoes to give it a more updated look. I just think you can still wear this today and not look like you're wearing a costume. Um, and this fabric, this puckered fabric, it's so unique. It's perfect for this dress. And I love this raised neckline. And this belt that I got, I love the belt. I got this at Walmart for $10. And it just, I mean, it gives you that 60s vintage look, but it still looks contemporary. And these tennis shoes. I love it. I could not find shoes this week on time for this video. So I didn't have time to shop, but if I do, I'll probably wear some kind of white shoes or white boots. And uh, of course, got to wear my vintage sunglasses. These are really in now too. So I just love this dress. It just feels great. Um, it has these darts on the shoulders. Really unique. I've never made darts like this before. Of course, I made raglan sleeves, this uh, raised collar, which I'm going to show you um, what I did. I have a little footage of that of putting in the interfacing here I'm going to show you that next also the uh, darts here when I first made this the darts were too high I have a, 
I'll insert a picture here and then I'm going to show you a clip of what I did to get the darts to fit perfect. So let me walk one more time for you. Hopefully you can see the whole dress. Has this invisible zipper. Has the fishtail darts here in the front and in the back. And of course the belt. I love the belt. Ten dollars at Walmart. The earrings. These were five dollars at Walmart. I got them in. They twist sometimes so sorry about that. And uh, the overall look is just a lot of fun. And I think it's contemporary. I will definitely wear this out. So let's go inside. I'm going to show you how I did the collar and the darts. This step is for the neck edge of the dress which uses bias seam binding. I am not going to do that. I'm going to do what Talisha suggested using interfacing for the neck above the flap and then I decided I'm going to serge the finish instead of bias tape. I use this Pellin Shirtailer 950F. I like to buy it in a bolt because when it's 50% off it's a good deal and then I don't run out so I'm going to do that. I did press the interfacing above the fold line as you can see here the fold line right here and here's the interfacing all the way around the, the neck and of course this is the invisible zipper I'm installing and that should give it more stability and stay up the way it should. I surged the facing, okay, the flap here, and now I'm going to tack it down. I'm going to sew in the ditch on this every seam going around. Initially when I completed the dress, I did not notice the darts were too high up because when I put it on, it fits so well, and of course you noticed it. And then I had to adjust that. So let me show you what I did here. So I turned the dress inside out and there's a dart here, there's a dart here, and what I'm going to do is unpick these darts and draw about an inch down, maybe close to the fishtail darts here. I'm going to draw the point about an inch down and then draw um, the darts again and then uh, stitch them. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but like I said, I do things my way over the years and they seem to work for me. So let me unpick this and press it and then draw the darts. There are the original dart lines. It's because I unpicked it on this side and here's the other one on this side. So what I'm going to do is lower the point of the dart. I'm going to bring it down an inch. So the point will be right here. Same on this side. I got my uh, gauge here and I'm going to lower it an inch. And the distance between these two points here is from here, from this side of the dart to this side is an inch and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the dart an inch. I'm going to draw a straight line across and then at an angle I'm going to draw another line an inch and a half down from there and then I'm going to sew it up. As you can see, I lowered the dart an inch. This is the blue one, the original, and now the green. I don't know if that comes out very well, but I'm going to sew up the lowered dart, and then on both sides I did it, and I'm going to try it on. Perfect. I absolutely love this vintage Jiffy pattern. This dress is so unique with its raised collar, the darts on the shoulders, the raglan sleeves, the fishtail darts on the front and the back that give it wonderful shaping. It's an overall very easy, they labeled it very easy, which it is. I don't know if I'd call it very easy for a beginner, um, but I didn't have a problem with it. And I love the raised collar. Like I said, the interfacing is a must. So, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Thank you for all the wonderful comments. I can't believe it's been a year. It flew by. It's been a learning experience for me, learning about YouTube and interacting with people and just 
getting to comments, where to find them and how to reply and just a lot of things with YouTube uploading. There's a lot involved. So, and primarily I'm a sewist. I love to sew. I love to do embroidery and I don't mind YouTube. I mean, I love recording. It's just the editing. It's all learning and I kind of want to get that a uh, little smoother doing that. So I need to develop some uh, skills and I'm working on it. But I'm looking forward to 2024. I'm taking into account all your requests. I'm going to do more sew longs, more embroidery, and just have a lot of fun. So thanks again for tuning in. One thing is I did get my simplicity patterns in the mail. So next Friday I'm going to go through those. They're going to be Vogue and of course New Look. So that's next week's video. I hope you enjoyed this today. I hope you found it informative and fun. And most of all, I hope you were so inspired. We had 86 participants in this giveaway. And then, oh!